there were coats <laughs> this whole time? <laughs> My bad! My bad, dude! My bad! <laughs> Hey guys, my name's Dan, and this reaction is part two for In Space with Markiplier. And this one, we're going to explore every single thing that we didn't do in part one, which contains all of the correct decisions. So, if you're looking for the playthrough with that, I highly recommend you check out that video before watching this one. And before we get into it, though, if you like more of Markiplier, I have done many other reactions, so you can check all of those out. And if you want to see future reactions that I do, you can go right below this video, click that like button, that subscribe button, and right notification about all those things really helps out my channel and gives you access to future reactions that I do. Then you can go on over and support Markiplier if you haven't already. I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description. And without any further ado, let's go. For this one, unlike last time where we picked fixed life support, this time around, we're going to try to put out a fire and uh, see what happens. Oh, this does not seem to be working. Oh dear. Fire extinguished. Warning. Oh. Oxygen levels dropping to unsafe levels. Oh. That's not good, and I'm not looking too good either. Oh my, this is not. I'm dead. And this is why we didn't pick that one. Because I figured we were going to die because of it. Oh! Oh! Good morning, Captain. We are currently. Oh, I see! It took us back! Current ship status is absolutely catastrophic. Initializing an emergency. Reviving head engineer. Captain, what the hell is going on? Bridge detected. Seeking bulkhead. Thank you. Um. What's happening? We're on the bridge. Error. Automatic fire suppression system offline. Error. Life support systems failing. Uh, I'll get life support. Error. Backup systems offline. Fail safes offline. Alert. Fire extinguished. Captain. Oh. Oh. This. Oh, I don't like any of this. I I don't I don't oh. Okay, this is different. I don't like any of this. Oh. Okay, hi. Rising. Ah, Captain, there you are. I got life support back online. I still don't know what the hell is happening, but we seem to have this situation all under control. Do we know? Impact detected. Computer, activate the asteroid defense system. Analyzing. No. What do you mean, no? <laughs> what? <laughs> Computer, what's wrong with the ADS? Yes, offline. Why? Offline. Computer, what is wrong? Offline. Just says offline. Computer, what's wrong with the ADS? ADS is offline. This doesn't make any sense. We got asteroids hitting the ship, but our guns aren't shooting them down. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, there's still guns, so you know we should just be able to point and shoot. The asteroid defense system is. <laughs> Something's gone wrong with the computer. The drone Clearly. shouldn't be able to attack the crew. I programmed that myself. 
Well, I know that's not a guarantee, but something's clearly changed. <laughs> we gotta fix ADS or we're gonna get blasted to bits. Just like old times, eh, Captain? Sure. Pretty much exactly like old times, actually. Which is what happened to the first Invincible. But they didn't have you! I know you got a plan to save us cooking up in that big brain of yours. I can see the wheels turning. You've faced the odds and beaten them a thousand times before. This is gonna be a cakewalk. I'm practically salivating at the thought. Okay, so... I don't know if all this stuff is supposed to be happening to where I get sent back to the beginning, it seems like. Is there a possible way to die? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so... Is waking up the crew going to be different in this timeline? Because honestly, I'm trying to see if there's a way for us to actually die here. If it's just like an infinite loop. Like if we pick the wrong thing, it just like sends us back to like where we were before, but like slightly different. Um... So, I think the obvious one to pick here to see if we die is sending Mark in. So, sorry, Mark. We're going to have to see what happens here. Me. Yeah, you. Want me to go in. Yeah, bud. Yep. Fix. Yep. Yep. You. Go. Yes. Go do your thing. <laughs> Cold star. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, did you say so, Captain? systems after all so i should be able to fix it yeah i won't let you down godspeed Uh, yeah, he Once did it. Of my blood got on the DNA scanners. Yeah, they recognized me as me and stopped shooting long enough for me to fix the system. I don't know why they were shooting at me in the first place, but I'll run some diagnostics now that the ship seems to be out of imminent peril. Warning: coolant leak in cryo. Computer, what happened to cryo? Maintenance. Maintenance. Shutting down. What? Why? Oh, whatever. <laughs> There's a leak in cryo. It's negative 200 degrees in there. We gotta fix it fast or we're gonna start losing colonists. What should we do, Captain? What should we do? And this is on the we. Oh, yeah, we? Together, as a collective unit of cooperation. <laughs> a dynamic duo. <laughs> a partner sharing oh, yeah. responsibility. Oh, okay. Um. All right, so that didn't have him killed there. All right, so we sent, we sent Mark in. So he was fine. All right, so let's send him in again. Why not? To me, but I just did the repair thing. Yeah, so go again. It's not my place, but maybe you could take a swing at this one. Lead from the front or something like that. I'm the captain. Oh, oh, thanks, guys. You're good. Yeah, you. Do your thing. But, go. But, but, but captain, but captain, I, I, go. I, I, I really don't want to do this. It's really cold in there. And, and so I thought maybe I could, maybe I could warm up a little bit. Before, before you can Hi. Or, or maybe we can take turns. Let's see. Dear Chica, I regret to inform you that Markiplier has passed in the line of duty. Uh, he fought to the last in the quest to complete his duty. Although sometimes stubborn and overly talkative, he was a brave soul. And while we miss his presence on the ship, we appreciate the blessed silence he left behind. <laughs> oh, that's great. Alert. Colonists core temperature stabilizing. Oh. <laughs> Jobs. Done. Yeah? Captain. You sure? Good job. Reactor overload imminent. Now the reactor's gonna go kablooey. <laughs> yeah. How many things can go wrong with this ship? And you're gonna we fix everything. Let's go! 
<laughs> Big fluffy coat! Main reactor will achieve catastrophic completely in approximately one minute. Get the lead out! We're almost there! There were coats <laughs> this whole time? <laughs> My bad! My bad, dude! My bad! Captain, warning. Venting plasma. Thirty seconds until catastrophic reactor meltdown. Someone with extensive engineering expertise needs to enter this room. God, it's, no. <laughs> it's not fair. Yes, I've done my part. No, you wouldn't. Yes, what? <laughs> yes, it's happening. <laughs> Captain, get, please. Get, no, get, I, get. it's too much. I can't no. do it. No, go ahead. Answer number. I wouldn't be able to fix it even if I knew what the problem was, which I don't. Sir, listen to your captain. You understand, don't you, captain? You understand, don't you? Go on. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, poor Mark. so cold from cryo i didn't even feel the heat and it thawed me out so evenly yep, i don't think i'm gonna lose any limbs to frostbite you really do know what you're doing don't you i'm lucky to have you as my captain and the ship should be in good enough shape that we can finally take a breath look around and figure out what the hell is no happening here <laughs> i think we're gonna be i think we're gonna be okay yeah computer what's the status of the warp core <laughs> warp core cannot be reached Clarify. Warp core cannot be reached. Focus. Can you at least tell us if it's gonna blow up? No. No, oh. it's not gonna blow up? No. Then what good are you, you stupid robot? <laughs> All right, let's see what the deal is. Maybe we can figure out where we are. Computer, wake all crew leads and get them running diagnostics. Waking crew. Okay, at least that still works. Why didn't you do that sooner, though? It would have been so much easier to fix all the systems on the ship if the crew leads had been awake. Uh, whatever. The ship seems stable for now. Don't know why I can't reach the warp core, but at least we can get to the bottom of this. I swear, if one more thing blows up on my ship, I'm gonna lose it! What the hell is that? Well, that's new. Um, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. God, we're stuck in a goddamn wormhole. All yeah. stress is redlining across all decks. It's holding for now, but I can't tell you how long that's gonna last. Captain, what do you say? About time? Yeah. Yep. Computer, activate the event horizon protocol. That's it? You tied explosives to that? No confirmation? It worked, didn't it? I'm gonna kill you. Gunther said it was okay. Hey, we're gonna be drifting for a while without the warp core, but... Safe. Oh, I think the colonists are going to be okay. Yeah. Nice to see you, Captain. With the Event Horizon protocol activated, the Invincible 2 was free from the effects of the wormhole and sent adrift into the vastness of space in search of a new planet to colonize. Specifically, Mark is searching for it because he ordered him to, not because he's the best at it. No, 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 no. No. He's definitely not the best, as his demerit record clearly shows. He's just the one your mind drifts to when something needs doing. Yep. Perhaps because you consider him to be a friend. Uh, probably not. Eventually, you do manage to find a planet, an action for which the crew thanks you dearly. Even if Mark was the one to make the discovery, you were the one to order said discovery, so you should take all the credit for ordering the discovery of the discovery, which you do. 
Yep. Once the colony is established, you find that, despite his extensive list of demerits, you're always willing to give Mark a chance to prove himself by assigning him every task necessary to grow a thriving colony. Anytime a colonist needs their housing built, you pick Mark. Anytime a dangerous jungle needs to be explored, you pick Mark. Oh, God! Anytime an alien attack threatens your colony, you put Mark right on the front lines. And he's happy to do it. Sure, the colony would probably grow faster if you didn't require that every single project and task wait for Mark to arrive, but it's the price of getting things done right. Or getting things done good enough, at least. He's the head engineer, after all. This pattern of dutiful obedience carries on for many years, until one night, you're struck with another problem that only Mark can solve. As you lay in your luxurious captain's bed, you find that you just can't seem to get comfortable. You ring the summoning bell that's been genetically coded to Mark to alert him of your need, as is customary for any discomfort you experience. You command him to bring you another pillow to ease your aching bones, oh, weary God. from the arduous work in micromanagement. Only a few seconds behind schedule for which you give him the proper demerits, Mark arrives, pillow gripped tightly in both hands. Oh no. You make the minimal effort required to gesture for his approach, and he does with a slightly oh. more gleeful smile than usual. There's a certain twinkle in his eye that you haven't seen before, something that, if it were anyone else, you'd assume might be a hint of mischievousness. <laughs> but Mark isn't the mischievous type. Oh, God! But unwarranted eye twinkling, you just can't abide. You pull up your tablet and scroll through the multitudes of demerits to find eye twinkling as Mark approaches with the pillow. Oh, God! His smile growing with every step. Oh, God. And to your complete lack of surprise, he somehow screws up the simple act of giving you a pillow. He put it on your head instead of under it surely there's a demerit for improper execution of locational prepositions captain damn okay all right so i think i think i get it now before in the last video where i set them up on a new planet and everyone thanked me for everything and i was worried that everything would go to crap if and when i died and then i clicked on go towards the light that's that's when i died so that wasn't the right ending and neither was this one so i think this kind of loops back around to what i just did let's see So where are we? Good morning, Captain. We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is en route. Current ship status is absolutely catastrophic. Initializing an emergency wakey wakey protocol. See, have I seen this already? If so, we're just gonna skip over to another decision that we haven't made yet. Okay, grabs the fire extinguisher. This looks familiar. Reviving head engineer. Captain. Does this feel <laughs> Yes, I've been here before. Are extinguished. Life support systems failing. Oxygen levels rising. Asteroid defense system is offline. Asteroid defense system online. Warning: cooling leak in chronic. Colonist core temperature stabilizing. Yes, yes, here we go. Okay. So, hmm. All right, so what we're going to do now is go back before we've woken up the crew. Uh, we've sent Mark out, though we haven't sent the crew out. Hmm. We haven't sent the crew out 
in this timeline to where he's here with us. Because before, he wasn't here with us. So, let's see if it's any different by clicking on that Wake the Crew this time around. Land Captain? Oh yeah, good idea. Gunther should be able to handle this. Yes, sir, I can. I heard you had a little problem on your hands, Captain. Well, I've been through hundreds of battles, fought through hundreds of traps. A few rogue drones. Ain't gonna get the best of me. Do my best if you think I'm the right person for the job. Well, not my first choice. But uh, Captain is the Captain. So, Mrs. Whitaker, we need you to get oh, in the no, asteroid. No, I'm not married anymore, young man. Oh. Care for a cookie? Sure. Yeah, I love a cookie. Would love one. Appreciate it. Miss Whitaker, we need you to get in the asteroid defense system and fix it. Well, 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 when the captain tells you to do something, you best well get it done, I always say. Sure. Hey, there's no problem. A plate of cookies can't solve. Yeah, sure. Oh. Oh, I am so sorry, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm so sorry! happening uh okay well captain i guess we gotta fix the problem do you remember what the problem was uh, all right so wake the crew again i guess yeah that's a pretty good idea cc knows the system so she should be able to fix it but i swear if she starts questioning my designs again what stupid designs call a problem again captain oh, why no dr kelvina they did but it seems like there's a leak in your coolant system, though. Well, it's probably because you put a fusion reactor next to my cryo bay. Oh, I put a fusion reactor next to your cryo bay because the magnetic field protects your on it. Oh, no. Why don't you just put more glass windows on a spaceship, you idiot? Oh, my, my, look at you. Nothing but skin and bones. Would you like a cookie, dearie? Oh, wait, there, there's a problem in cryo. Uh, do you have any experience? In oh, no. Yeah, there's a leak. Yes. Oh. The colonists! Yeah, we should... Yeah, we need to do something. Uh, uh Mrs. Whitaker, it's very cold in there. <laughs> You're gonna need some kind of protection. There's a coolant leak. You're it's a good thing that I brought my vernoose. Um, that's probably not gonna work out too well for you, ma'am. Warning, colonists call temperature rising beyond unsafe levels. Ma'am! Not to worry, dearies. Turns out there's a radiator right next door. I'll have those colonists warm and toasty in a jiffy. We just turn this one up, up. No! 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 Yeah. 
kind of feel like that right about now. Yeah. And also, I feel like whatever's behind this door is gonna kill us. So, yeah. maybe don't open it. I'll defer to you. You usually have All right. Plans, right? All right, so we've been doing the whole waking the crew thing, and I'm pretty sure uh, doing this in any other order, like... Um, anyone get to this point if I fix it outside and then there was another option to do the whole fixing the uh, waking the crew thing I pretty sure those are all the same though. I could be wrong either way Let's stick along the path now of waking the crew Captain Burke There you are. There's a problem in the reactor. You gotta get in there. You're the only one that can fix it Go in there and save the ship Oh. You know I've had the strangest dreams lately. Must be something about that cryo thing you put me in. Mm. But oh my word, the dreams. Uh, yeah, we can talk about the dreams later, Mrs. Whitaker. They're not the type of dreams I forget either. They linger like a shadow. And they don't go away when the day comes. Mm. Makes you feel like you've been through all this before. Yeah. Do you understand, dearie? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. We understand perfectly, Mrs. Whitaker. I told we... you I'm not married anymore. But these funny dreams aren't to be trusted. Oh, no. They may seem nice, but they're not what they seem, are they? No. You can't really have second chances. Right. Seems too good to be true. Okay. Right, dearie. Yeah, sure. Seems like there's a problem that needs to be taken care of before it gets worse. Warning, problem in reactor is getting worse. <laughs> yeah? Lucky guess, right, Captain? Yeah. But don't worry. I'm sure this dream will sort itself out right quick. It's just a matter of finding the right answer. Yeah. Right, Captain? Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Oh! doing is the ship off what what's happening are we just drifting in space is this where I die yeah the ship doesn't work anymore so there's no power Is this the sad ending? And so, the captain survived. Alive, but alone. Despite the captain's best efforts, it seems that they could do nothing to prevent the demise of their people. Every cryopod on the ship was filled with naught but dust and darkness. No one to carry the light of humanity across the stars. No one to fill the empty halls of the ship. No one, save for the captain. And yet the captain persevered. In the darkness. In the gloom. The ship was dead, but there were rations aplenty. The ship was stocked to feed an entire colony, of course, so the captain was never left wanting. At least when it came to food. The loneliness, huh? That was another story entirely. Love that. The captain did what they could in setting up a small distress beacon, but the gulf between the stars is vast. Vast enough to make even the speed of light seem woefully inadequate. And so, the captain spent the rest of their days eating tuna fish and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches by the light of a small blinking beacon Ugh. that shouted silently into the void. The last dying cry of the Invincible Two. Wow. Okay. So that is our third death of this. So we're going to go all the way back to when we decide between either waking up the crew or waking up uh, uh, or sending a Markiplier in.
and we are going to try to this time fix things outside. What's up, Captain? Captain? Hey, uh, Captain, where are you going? Uh, is this part of the plan to fix ABS, which is what we need to do, right? You remember? Oh, God, Captain, get out! Captain! Captain, open the door! Get out of the airlock right now! Captain! No, no, no! Computer override the exterior airlock door! Ira, airlock opening cannot be halted at this time. Captain! No! Okay, well, I didn't die, so it just sort of reloaded everything. Good morning, Captain. We are currently So, so fixing from the outside, it's gonna do the same thing every time, I'm assuming. in an emergency there's no time to explain sure um, don't know why the drones were shooting at me though and dna scanners were a bad idea but <laughs> seems like the ship seems to be doing okay sure <laughs> coolant leak in cryo computer what happened in cryo maintenance maintenance shutting down uh, why oh whatever Coolant's leaking into the cryo. It's negative 200 degrees in there. If we gotta fix it faster, we're gonna start losing colonists. Yeah, what probably. Should we do, Captain? What should we do together as a collaborative unit of cooperation? This is the same. Okay. All right. All right. And then it says send Mark in again, which is we've already seen. So we don't have to worry about like doing these things multiple times over again. We're gonna continue along the path of fixing it out from outside. Bye bye, I'm gonna kill myself now. Out airlock opening in three, two, one. Bye! Captain, why? Uh, 
<laughs> oh my god, this is so good. Oh, I forgot to give him that. Alert. Colonist core temperature stabilizing. What? There you go. There you go. What? Warning. Reactor overload imminent. Now the reactor's gonna go kablooey. How many more things can go wrong on this ship? One more. Go. Let's move. Hurry. <laughs> Oh yeah, and there's the big fluffy coat. Got it. Until catastrophic reactor meltdown, someone with extensive engineering expertise needs to enter this room. No, 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 I'm gonna kill myself again. Captain, wait, you're not going to the airlock, are you? <laughs> okay, great. Sorry, Captain, for some reason, and I know it's crazy. I had this bizarre feeling like you were gonna throw yourself out of the ship's airlock. <laughs> Like I could see it in my mind's eye. Yep. No. <laughs> Let's go. I knew, I knew you were gonna throw yourself out of the airlock. How did I know that, Captain? Wait. Bye. Ah. Uh... <laughs> oh man. Software update complete. Good morning, Captain. Coffee uh -huh. is en route. Current ship status is nominal. Oh. Nominal? Mm. Oh, morning, Captain. How's your sleep? Good? Oh, man. Are we early? I didn't expect. What? I'm flattered, but could you let go of my hand? I thank you. All right. Uh, what is happening? Captain, uh, are you feeling okay? No. <laughs> Why is everything normal? It's the one time where nothing is out of place. Hello, sir. Oh, morning, Captain. Did you sleep well? Um, sure. Why are you looking at me all creepy like? Not a single asteroid tried to hit us this whole journey. Which is some pretty good luck. You're a boring pansy. But don't worry, Captain. I'll find something to shoot. Okay. So, so did fixing it myself do it? Captain, all colonists are healthy and accounted for. Huh? I might even owe Mark an oh. apology. Maybe. Oh. Okay. Oh! Fishermen know that the sea is dangerous and the storm terrible. But they've never found these dangers sufficient reason to remain ashore. All right, Bert, can I? I need to go that way. Bert, can you just. Thank you. All right. Hello. Captain? Hello? You seem a little stressed. I know that cryosleep can affect everyone differently, but coffee always helps. Relax. Okay. You did it. You I got did. us here safely. I did. Take a moment to enjoy it. All right. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. Why is no one else moving? Alert. Right. Warp core cannot what? be reached. What? Computer, what's wrong with the warp core? Warp core cannot be reached. Well, I know you can't reach it, but what's wrong with it? I don't know what's happening, Captain, but it can't be good. Uh-huh. Well, that's a uh, new. Oh, yeah, good idea. Captain, I don't know what that is, but I know bad news when I see it. And that is bad news. We got to get back to the bridge right now. Oh. I wonder if this is what happened to the first invincible. But they didn't have plans. Oh, morning, Captain. Uh -huh. Well, 
Open, open, open. Oh. Captain, Mark got our ass and stuck in a wormhole. No, I did. No, maybe I did. Damn it, Mark. My God. Mark got us stuck in a goddamn wormhole. Pulse stress is redlining across all decks. How did Mark even cause this much damage? What's this activate the protocol? How? <laughs> Event Horizon protocol activation successful. Ship is free from the effects of the wormhole that was caused by Mark. Oh. All right. You knew it. You That's knew it. Something was wrong, and boy, were you glad to prove it. With the Event Horizon protocol initiated, the ship was finally free from the devastating effects of the wormhole. Although left to drift among the stars, luckily, you just so happened to end up in a system with a beautiful planet suitable for habitation. Oh. Humanity's first colony among the stars would be a smashing success. The colonists celebrated this momentous occasion and eagerly awaited setting foot on this wonderful new planet. But you kept the colonists aboard the ship for a while. You needed oh. time to check the planet for it, after all. When they asked you what it was, you simply responded that it was whatever they wanted to happen as soon as you let your guard down. Your crew didn't feel the need to question you further, and were more than happy to wait a few years aboard the ship while you finished scouring every corner of the planet for it. Oh. But once your checks were complete, the colony positively thrived. After, you built an extensive network of defense systems and surveillance systems, of course. You oh. knew that it was still out there, just waiting for the right moment to strike. And with those systems in place, your people enjoyed the bounties of a practically idyllic planet. They also enjoyed the bounty of bi-daily random security screens. Wouldn't want it to show up in the middle of a supervised safety meal, now would we? No. But your people were happy when you allowed them to be. Oh. After all, happiness could lead to complacency, which could be disastrous when it eventually struck. But that was never going to happen. Not under your watchful eye. The colony would be safe from them for many, many years. You made sure of it. What did I do? Yep, all right, so that is another death screen. All right, so I'm looking at things here. All right, so we're going to go towards the decision after not we're not going to use the fire extinguisher. We're going to we're going to do the other thing that we did last time and then we're going to face the decision after that. And this time around since I woke up the crew last time, we are going to wear a disguise. See what happens. A <laughs> mustache. Hi guys. Who is that? What doing? Unknown. Are they crew? Unknown. What are we supposed to do when an unknown person attempts to enter the asteroid defense system? Requiring to fire ah! That makes sense. Software update complete. Good morning, Captain. We are currently Error. years into our journey. Coffee is en route. Current ship status is absolutely catastrophic. Initializing emergency wakey wakey protocol. Seen this before. 
Don't open the door. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Looks fishy. So we're going to watch a little bit more just to make sure that we've seen this all before. I'm 95% sure we have. Oxygen levels rising. Ah, Captain, there you are. I got life support back online. I still don't know what the hell is happening, but we seem to have this situation all under control. <laughs> Impact detected. Computer, activate the asteroid defense system. Analyzing. No. What do you mean, no? Computer, what's wrong with the ADS? Yes, offline. Why? Offline. Computer, what is wrong? Offline. Computer, what's wrong with the ADS? ADS is offline. Yeah, this seems very much it. Thankfully, uh, there's still guns, so you know, you should just be able to point and shoot. The asteroid defense system is. Well, that's new. Something's gone wrong with the computer. The drones shouldn't be able to attack the crew. I programmed them myself. Right, I know that's not a guarantee, but something's clearly changed. We gotta fix ADS or we're gonna get blasted to bits. Just like old times, eh, Captain? Sure. Pretty much exactly like old times, actually. Just what happened to the first Invincible. But they didn't have you! I know you got a plan to save us cooking up in that big brain of yours. I can see the wheels turning. Yep, crazy. okay, so this is all that what we've done before. So now we're going to go back to when we chose to wake up the crew for the first one and then see what else is after that. So this time we're going to call for backup. There's nothing wrong with calling for help. Wait, wait, what did that say? Uh, then when that help isn't a warmongering zealot. Oh boy. Software update complete. Good morning, Captain. We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is en route. The current ship status is absolutely catastrophic. All right, so looks like Ow. Okay, so let's pause things here. Let's see. Yep, okay, so that was the wrong one. So again, we're going to wake up the crew for the second time and then see what happens. And then blow it up before <laughs> it blows you up. Yep. Captain, it's happening. No, think about the colonists. No. Captain, give me that. Give me that. Whoops. Give me that. Nope, nope. Bam, you're going to have to move. It's nice serving with you. Yep, sure was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, kind of figured that was going to happen. Complete. All right, so let's see. Oh, oh, okay. No, uh, no spoilers. So let's go back to where we were. We were here. Software update complete. Good morning, Captain. We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is en route. Current ship status is absolutely catastrophic. Initializing emergency wakey wakey protocol. Captain! Captain, something is very wrong! Alert! Fire on the bridge. Alert! Fire extinguished. The life support is gonna fail. 
Alert. Life support is Ah! I know these things, but it feels like I've been here before. Is this a dream? Is this deja vu? I don't know. And then the ADS is gonna go. ADS offline. There's gonna be a leak and cryo. A leak and cryo. And then the whole reactor is gonna go kablooey. Alert. Main reactor will achieve catastrophic kablooey in approximately one minute. There it is. We're stuck in some kind of time loop or something. And what's weirder is I feel like I've fixed all these before. Everything I've done already. But when I try to get to the warp core, I can't get to the warp core because there's a damn wormhole in the middle of our ship. Which is impossible. Which means that if I'm seeing it, I must be crazy. But I'm not crazy. You <laughs> saw. I knew. But maybe I have to be crazy to be thinking like this. Sure. Like, is this a dream? Are we dead? I don't know. I think we're dead. But you believe me, right? Captain, you believe me. I mean, you saw. I knew. Okay, so... With uh, the plan of picking all the wrong decisions, pretty sure we're, this is the wrong one. No, Captain. This isn't a dream. No, I thought that too, but it's too real. Everything's real. You have to believe me, Captain. It's real. This is real. It's real. Well, this dream was certainly taking some interesting turns. And what a dream it's been. So far be it from you to end it prematurely. You watch with glee as Mark runs frantically to and fro, fixing various problems that seem to be plaguing your ship. He brings you to the warp core hallway to observe the swirling miasma of chaotic madness that blocks the path to the warp core. You hear his desperate pleas that something has gone horribly wrong with reality and laugh even harder than before. You're still laughing while Mark activates the Event Horizon protocol that will blow up the warp core hallway and send the ship sailing off into the void. Eager to see where this dream is going to take you next, you wave goodbye to the swirling blue wormhole. Your ship drifts for a while, but as with most dreams, things shift pretty quickly. You stumble across an alien. An alien! What a dream! They make contact by immediately boarding your ship and taking every single crew member and colonist on board as their prisoners. Oh. Apparently, they're alien poachers who are on the hunt for fresh blood for their gladiator pits. <laughs> You go along with them for the fun of it and are swiftly brought to some sort of desert planet and shunted into the waiting rooms below the fighting pits. A crowd roars out for blood somewhere above you, their screams rising and falling with the fight currently taking place. Someone must have won or lost as the crowd explodes in cheers, shaking the walls of the city. Oh dear. In, or something like that. What a vivid dream. While the rest of the crew weeps or sobs or begs or does some combination of the three, you find yourself idly perusing the weapons that have been laid out before you. Eventually, they come to drag you to the pits, but they needn't bother. You already know how the fight will go and step out onto the sands of your own volition. It's your dream after all. Your opponent is huge. A great muscled beast bellows out a challenge that shakes the foundation of the arena. His enormous weapon dripping with the fresh blood of his previous and apparently pervious opponents. Time seems to slow down as the axe whistles towards your neck and you find oh. yourself smiling. People usually wake up from a dream right before dying and, to be perfectly honest, this particular dream was getting a little... Ow! Okay. So we were right. That was a death. So let's check out the other... You believe me? You believe me? I knew I wasn't crazy. I had the worst feeling that you weren't gonna believe me. That you were just gonna throw me into every problem you saw like my life was disposable. Or you were just gonna blow up the ship on a whim just because it seemed fun or something crazy like that. But you're not crazy. And I'm not crazy. And together, we're gonna make sure that these colonists survive and live a long, happy life. What's this one? Oh, the ship is completely dead. Let's see.
Yeah, this 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 is the sad ending. All right, so now we're going to we're going to go back to uh we're not going to blow up the ship. We we called an emergency meeting last time. So now we're going to jump in again. Hell yeah. We'll be at that warp core before you know it. I think we were pretty close last time too. So, this time, I'll dash right. You dash. Oh, thumbnail. Now we know what not to do. So, what do you say? Let's jump in again. We almost had it last time. We'll definitely get it this time. Sure. Hell yeah. Shouldn't be long now before we're resting on the shores of our new home planet. We'll be heroes. First they'll give you a medal. Then they'll give me a medal. Then they'll give you a medal. Then they'll give me a medal. Then they'll give you a medal. They might give her a medal. Then they'll give <laughs> Of these are lie. there. Oh, that was my bad. I yeah. kind of get distracted by all the pretty colors. But they do say that failure is the best teacher, so shall we go again? Come on, buddy. Yep, let's do it. <laughs> Why not? It's just an infinite loop, so we're gonna go back. Where was it before? Okay, so we're gonna call the emergency meeting and then we're going to proceed with the other choice. And this time we're gonna pop her in reverse, see if Bert's got the right idea. Captain. You're my man. Let's do it. Possibly think about. Hey, you heard the captain, and they know what's best. I know, and this is such a horrible idea. It's gonna kill all oh, of relax. us. Relax. The captain knows what they're doing, don't you, Captain? <laughs> yep. Yeah, but... I feel like I'm crazy. We're all gonna die. Oh my God! For once in your life, just step back and put your faith in proper leadership. <laughs> beep beep. You got this, Captain. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're all right. Yep. Oh, we're not killing ourselves. Cool. Another day, another crisis. What is the point? Current ship status broken. Just like my marriage. Damn! Here I am again, back for another ride on the merry go Ooh, Ooh, I like it. Am I immortal? Am I some kind of god? Bit of the or noir. Just another cruel in here. game. Promises only to stab you in the back and leave you for dead. Whatever it was, at least the company's nice. Yeah. Seems like that didn't work out so good for us, eh, Captain? <laughs> oh well. You can't win them all. All problems solved. Well, not all problems. Not the problem of my broken heart. Oh no. Some problems can't be solved with a swing of the fist, no matter how strong you are. Oh. When the love of your life tears you to pieces, well, that's a wound that just won't heal. The kind of wound that leads you down... The captain looked right through me with those baby gray eyes. The kind of look that could kill. And the kind of looks that could kill to match. Maybe someday I'll work up the courage to ask them out on that date. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe someday I'll destroy the universe. So, Captain, got any other ideas to get us out of this mess? Or, uh, you're just happy to see me. All right, so, again, picking the wrong choice, I think it's fire all weapons at the wormhole. I was hoping you'd say that, Captain. Yeah. I've been itching to get some payback on this wormhole for all the hell it's put us through. But why couldn't I shake a terrible feeling clutching my heart? Pulling the trigger felt right. I wanted to do it, but at the same time, in the back of my mind, I suspected that this would come back to haunt us. In the worst way. Looks like that's that. You did it, Captain. I always believed in. Hello? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's for you. Oh, all right. What's up? It's me, the wormhole. I bet you thought I was dead, didn't you? Oh, whoops. Ya? Oh, I gotta admit, it was a pretty good shot. But when you shoot to kill, you better make sure they're dead, because they might just come shooting back. 
I'm coming for you, Captain. Oh. Well, I'm sure that won't come back to bite me. Wrong number? Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> this shit has a hat! I <laughs> had a Tommy gun! <laughs> oh, I love it! Oh, I love it! With a sucking whoosh and a swirl of blue energy, the captain of the Invincible 2 finds themselves back in their cryopod. The captain looks around, slightly confused for unknown reasons. Eventually, they get on with it and pull the emergency release to free them from the confines of their cryogenic prison. Stepping out of the pod, the captain wonders to themselves if they are, perhaps, stuck in some sort of purgatory doomed to endlessly repeat the mistakes of the past. The captain's intrepid engineer also wonders the same as they emerge from their pod. Captain, do you hear something? The captain laughs a boisterous laugh at what is, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> another one of Mark's hilarious ruse. Mark must still be delirious from the after effects of cryogenic slumber. <laughs> right. Now, to be honest, we've all seen this part before, and I don't want the viewers at home to get bored. So why don't we skip ahead a few pages and get to our good friend, Wub? Wait, what viewers? What? Huh? What did you say? What? what? Hello? What? Oh! You! Wug, being the stoic, battle-hardened brute that he is, is unfazed by this new turn of events and proceeds to extract the English language out of Mark's soft, supple skull. Oh. What? No, don't do that! Wug pilots the ship to the space fast food restaurant. The captain grabs the food. Hey, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's supposed to be a Wug-only fast food restaurant. <laughs> The ship arrives at the Universal Stability Agency. We here? Arrival! We here! Oh, yeah. Wug removes the helmet from Mark's soft, supple skull. Oh, Owie. And so our intrepid adventurers have arrived at the Universal Stability Agency. But is it too late for them to stop the rampaging wormhole that they have unleashed upon the cosmos? The captain thinks back to all the faces of the colonists under their care. Will they be able to save them, or will they be doomed forever to suffer the same fate over and over again? And will Mark ever learn the captain's deep, dark secret? <laughs> Only one way to find out. What was that about a deep dark secret? The bandit enters. <laughs> the bandit leaves. Oh. Yeah, you they're definitely fast forwarding through this. Done. Not so fast. Now we get to the interrogation. You are destroying everything. The bandit knocks out Lady. What? <laughs> I said the bandit knocks out Lady. That's not my name. And no, I'm not going to do that. <sighs> it's so hard not working with professionals. A vent cover falls on Lady's head. I said that's not my. Oh! oh there it is. What the hell? And back to the ship. There we are, back on track, and not a moment too soon. Oh. With the device from the bandit in hand, our intrepid captain now has the tools necessary to make their way to the warp core without further delay. But will the twisting holes of the invincible I'm sorry. What did you say they have? The, uh, uh, the, ah, uh, the portable temporal displacement device. You know, the MacGuffin that allows our captain to navigate the chaos that is this ship. I didn't give them anything like that. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to read the script. The captain looks down and sees the device. It glows. The captain can get to the warp core now. They just have to find it. There. All you need to do now is use the device, and you'll be well on your way to part two of this whole ordeal. So the real business can begin. I'm sorry. Part two? What? what does that mean? Question. You're not supposed to be here. Oh. Oh no! Swiped her out of existence. So Same! Hey, Captain, Captain, I don't know what the hell's going on, but if there's another option that gets us out of here that doesn't involve listening to a crazy voice in our head, we might want to take that one. There is no it. other option written here. The next page literally says the captain uses the device and in a flash of blinding light is transported to another universe. 
There's no other way. You must move forward. I can't do everything for you. Oh, I haven't seen this yet. Have, have. Hmm. Because there was another choice before that we didn't use. Turn our weapons into wormhole. Okay, so what is going to get us killed here? What's going to... Because we just sort of fast forward here. And then before, it was either listen to the voice outside the door or not. And I think that was using the device from before. So, plan K. What are you doing? What's up, Captain? You got a plan? No, no, no. That is not part of the story. <laughs> yes, Can't it is. Do that. This oh, is God! And I won't have it. Where's my pen? Um, pen. Hold on. Uh, what is that? Is that good? That's not good. Captain, what are you doing? <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 Uh, Ooh, pressing big red button! What? Are you waiting for me? Yes. All right, fine. The ship blows up, I guess. Unbelievable. You <laughs> deserve what's coming to you. Sure. Having fun, Captain? Yep. Oh, complete darkness. Hello? You know... They yeah. say every choice spawns a new universe. Oh, ma'am. And if that's the case, what kind of universes do you think your choices have been making? Hmm? You haven't been working very hard to save your crew, have hmm. you, Captain? Yes. What's one choice among the infinite, you might ask? One mistake is not all. And it's true, not all choices matter. Some choices. Captain, some choices are everything. So, I'm going to make this easy for you. I'm only going to give you one choice. This portal will take you right where you need to be. All you have to do is step inside. Don't you want to save your people? You're the only one who can. Well, what's this going to do? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, now I'm not doing it. <laughs> Looking for this? Oh, Captain, I can't say I'm surprised. You always were stubborn. But oh, this is choice. another ending, I see. You always did have a choice. I just thought you might want to at least understand the choices you're making. What have you done? Do you even know who you are? Do you feel like you've been here before? Maybe. Or is this just history repeating itself over and over and over again? All right, so let's... Oh, yep, okay, so this is another one of the same... Yeah, okay, so let's let's switch things back. Step in the wormhole and see where that takes us. Wisely done, Captain. Wisely done. I'll see you up ahead. Trust yourself, Captain. You have everything you need in the palm of your hand. Oh, you didn't take it this time. Alright, so does this take us to a certain timeline? <laughs> Finally made it. That took long enough. Come on, Captain. It's time to finally end this. That is, if that thing actually works. I guess I still have a lot left to learn about wormholes. You do know how to use that thing, don't you? 
Unfortunately, they do. Oh. Yep. Don't you, Captain? Oh, not again. <laughs> All right, yep, we've seen this, so let's go back before and stick with the narrator's uh, plan. Excellent. Perfect. Good choice. Trust me, this is the best possible outcome. Although it might not seem like it at first. Actually, wait. Hold on. Oh. Oh, no. What? What, what did um, you do? Sir? No spoilers, but... Maybe don't trust any talking doors. What the hell does that mean? Huh? Okay, well now where does this put us? I'll be damned. We made it. Ooh. You guys are flying around in this thing? Ah, uh, well, she's seen better days. Yeah, we've seen this. All right, so let's go back again. And this time we will send a distress signal. Sounds good, Captain. You always know the right move to make. It was a terrible idea. The worst I've heard yet. Sure, the captain was pretty, but they were clearly an idiot. All face and no brains and no ways out of here. We were doomed. Cursed. Damned. Excuse me? Were you talking Sit out loud? Out, captain. All that's left to do now is wait until... Something's coming, boss. It's terrible. It's horrible. Get yourself together and tell us what it is. Detecting an energy buildup from an unknown vessel. It's some kind of alien spaceship. Hmm. Oh. Hey, there's no need to be so hostile. Far be it for one to judge a new species on looks alone, but flying through a wormhole willingly? You're either reckless, or stupid, or both. <laughs> Not the first time, buddy. And I'm sure that it won't be the last. Sure, I was scared. I was downright terrified. The urine soaking into my pants made me regret not building a recycling system into the suits. But I kept my cool. Because when the chips are down, you play the hand you're dealt. I'm sure that there's some way that we could resolve this amicably. <laughs> the repugnant odor only deepened Wong's disgust for what must be the ugliest member of their species. And yet, the leader. Wong had never laid eyes on a creature so handsome and or beautiful. Thank you. Those eyes, they captivated Wong, glimmering like the great forests of Wong. Maybe there was hope for this species yet. Be calm. At least they didn't seem like a violent species. Oh dear. Oh what no, that's that they knew about the ancient peace treaty. An attack on one walk was an attack on all walk, as the saying goes. And yet, part of what wanted them to attack walk. Something in Wong's blood yearned for the primal satisfaction mm -hmm. of savage destruction. Just like Wong's ancestors. Wog like helping, but Wog also like hurting. Oh. You hungry? Ooh, do do those donuts? Okay. I want one. What the hell? Wog was disappointed. Wog was downright devastated. Maybe something went wrong with Wog's translator. Maybe beautiful human think Wong ugly. Stupid, stupid. Wong just glad Wong put their recycling system into Wong's helmet so they don't see Wong cry. Uh, we hear these people help. Take this. If you want to, you don't have to. I mean, I want to. Walk understand. Okay. Walk help. Walk help to help. Walk always help you. Thanks, Walk. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I hope our paths cross. Okay. All right. Fair enough. My God. So that's what a human looks like. Just hideous. New species, huh? 
And they won't last today. Thank you for visiting the Universal Stability Agency, the last line of defense between order and chaos. Oh. You got the wrong gal, see? I was framed, see? I didn't have nothing to do with that wormhole, see? Come on, you can't send me back there. You can't make me sing. I'll never sing. I want a lawyer. I have rights. Now there's something you don't see every day. Hello, man. Eyes like fresh gray grass, hair like the first gray rays of sunshine, and a hand glowing with the gray light of an unstable warp crystal. Oh, yeah. My gut was telling me that they were something special. More special than that ugly one. That one makes my gut turn just looking at him. And my gut's never steered me wrong before. Sorry, Mark. Bit of a weird day, hey, Captain? Sure is. Well, well, well. Oh! If it isn't, the humans. So lost. So human. <laughs> That's a lot of talk for someone outnumbered two to one. Who am I? I'd like to introduce you to my associate, Wug. Wug? Wug Victor. Oh no! Double cross! How could you do this to us? After all we've been through. We never met. You sure? You look yeah. just like this guy. Yeah. Guy! Oh! You think Wug? Guy Wug? You think all Wug look the same? If you're done insulting my associate, I'm gonna have to ask you to drop your weapons and come with me. Not gonna happen. We haven't come all this way to give up now. Don't be stupid. That's why you have to drop your weapons so we can help. We're the only ones who can. So you better surrender. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Oh dear, oh. oh dear. Um Oh god, we have more decisions here. Okay, so either give Mark the signal or throw down your weapons. Um give Mark signal. You okay, Captain? Is this a surrender you're surrendering? No, the captain would never surrender. <laughs> it's signal! Captain One, ugly alien attack! When one guard down! No, no way, no, it's it's not a signal. Is it a signal, Captain? It's it's not a signal. Yes no it is! Way. Yes it is! It definitely signal! Swirl of blue energy, the captain of the Invincible 2 finds themselves back in their cryopod. The captain looks around, slightly confused for unknown reasons. Eventually, they get on with it and pull the emergency release to free them from the confines of their cryogenic prison. Hmm. Stepping out of the pod, the captain wonders to themselves if they are, perhaps, stuck in some sort of purgatory. Doomed to endless. Okay, yeah, so this is. Past. Listening to him do whatever. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back. And this time we will throw down our weapons. All your weapons. Whatever you say. You too, Captain. All right. Jesus. Perfect. Now follow me. Oh. Oh! I just have one question for you two. What's that? How ah! did you make the wormhole? Hey, whoa, easy lady. Hey, ma'am. Be so. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. So you confess you are trying to destroy the universe. Maybe we are. Maybe we aren't. What's to you? 
Lashley. Wait, no, we aren't. No, we're not. The only thing we're trying to destroy is ourselves. And once we're done doing that, oh, 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 we're getting the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, you really expect me to believe that you two just accidentally created the largest, most destructive wormhole the universe had ever seen? Oh. One that is growing larger by the second and threatens to consume every universe ever in existence unless you shut it down. So there I was, caught between a rock and the universe's biggest wormhole. As terrifying as it sounded, I couldn't help but be proud of the thought that I, the greatest investigative engineer in all of history, had found the device that would create the largest wormhole the universe no, 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 had no, no, ever no. This is this is not something to be proud of. Hey, no listening in on my monologues. That's against the rules. You barbaric idiots. You have no idea what you've done and how the universe could change. No! Whoa, hey now, I ain't here to cause trouble. I just heard there was a bit of a wormhole-related issue that needed fixing, and I just happen to be a bit of an expert in that department, see? Oh, all right. All right, okay. We'll hear you out. It was hideous, disgusting, twisted beyond words. The most revolting example of an alien you could possibly imagine. As if the ugliest phantom from my most depraved nightmares decided to put on way too much makeup and... Do you want my help or not? That wasn't nice. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> this here is a portable wormhole generator. Takes a lot of juice to tear holes in the universe. This gym, you got your palm here. Oh, that bears a spice of something special. Mm. You two go on and take care of your warp core problem, and I'll just tag along and take a few of these crystals off your hand if you got them. Now, what's in it for us? What's in it is that you don't get arrested and put in a box for the rest of forever. Still not convinced. It's a good thing I'm not asking you, ain't it? In my oh, line ugly, of work, you see a lot of stupid things. Oh, but, but in the galactic race, ah, I don't have that. Stop it! Everybody else. She doesn't understand the case. Ah! Quarter. Races, I can't handle more than one internal monologue. Be that as now it may, I see that the ball can be even lower than it already was. Over this if this is the best the galaxy has to offer, right then we're probably already doomed. <laughs> So, um, there seems to be a lot more uh, content this time around. Um, and as this is nearing something that we've already seen, we will pick things back up tomorrow, which I don't think there is too much left. I, I just think there's a few other loose ends to take care of. But uh, I've already been recording for over uh, an hour and a half now, so I think it's time to call it quits for this part. So uh, that's going to do it for me here. And before I go, though, I want to give a huge shout out to all my $5 and up supporters on Patreon. Marvin Espinosa, Cruising, Wolverine 310, Lauren Davenport, Kefster Cronage, Amber K, Raymond Bright, Joshua Tease, Multidisturbed666, and my YouTube channel members, King Boo 336 P909, and Renee Pro1. And if you too like have your name read at each and every one of my videos, plus many other fun goodies, maybe having me react to a past Markiplier video or two, please head on over to patreon.com slash react. The link will be right there. And in the description, again, right below this video, click that join button there, or head right over to my channel page and click that join button there. And with that being said, comment down below. Let me know how are you enjoying this so far. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. I also want to see fast reaction on the other Markiplier videos. I got a nice playlist right over there, full of them for you. Share this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Read notification bell because for new videos every single day. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>